Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here at the Under-19 USA Basketball Training Camp with Alfred Payton from Louisiana Lafayette. Alfred, how is Colorado Springs treating you? Um, it's treating me pretty good. Um, I had a good four sessions, I think, and uh, hopefully I made this team. What would your role be on this squad if you make the cut? Um, just being versatile, um, getting after the ball on defense, and uh, helping rebound. For people that might not be familiar with you, what can you tell us about your background? Um, you're kind of, you know, one of the uh, lesser known guys here. You were the also the last addition to the roster. Well, what can you tell us about yourself? Um, uh, well, at UL, I played uh, the point guard. I uh, started every game. Um, I averaged 15 points, five rebounds, five assists, two steals. Um, they say I was the only person in the country to do that this year. And um, play deep try and get after the ball, things like that. What kind of player were you in high school? Um, try to uh, like this, play D, get steals, things like that. And uh, I kind of just lived in the paint, getting to the lane, making layups, getting fouled, things like that. How are you going into your, ju your junior year? Uh, most of the guys here are, are, some of them are going into their high school senior year, their college freshman year, and it's a lot of college sophomores, but you are going into, you're going into your uh, junior year already. How did that come about? Um, well, I started school uh, real early. I started school when I was three years old. And um, so I played most of my freshman year at 17. So that's how that kind of happened. Uh, what kind, is that part of the reason why you ended up at Louisiana Lafayette? What, what kind of looks were you getting out of high school? Um, yeah, that, that is kind of the reason I ended up there. Um, but I also played in the... Uh, in the top 28, which is the final four in Louisiana, which is actually played in the Cajun Dome. So that helped me out. And uh, I got some looks from Tulsa, New Mexico State, things like that. And a couple of schools wanted me to go to prep school, but uh, I liked it. I liked how I felt in Louisiana, I mean, Lafayette. And um, it was kind of close to home, so it was a good fit. When did you um, grow into your frame and, 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 and get to 6'5"? Uh, is that what your height is? A uh, 6'4". Uh, I would say last year, fully into my full frame. I mean, my freshman year, I, uh, I gained, I mean, um, I grew a few inches, but uh, my frame wasn't all the way there. I was still kind of, you know, um, skinny, things like that. But I say my sophomore year, going into my sophomore year, I really filled out a little bit. You don't see a lot of guys that height who can legitimately play point guard. It looks like you've been doing it your whole life. It looks very natural for you. Um, where does that come from? Um, I don't know, just dribbling the ball a lot. Uh, and like I said, I, I didn't really get a growth spurt until like uh, my junior year in high school going into my senior year. So I was always kind of the shortest one on the team. So I had to play point, you know, things like that. So it just helped me. What, are you, what do you need to improve on to make the next step? What have you learned here, you know, in the last three days, just being around some of the top players in college basketball? Shot opportunities don't come uh, too often. It's, uh, it's a quick uh, split second decision you gotta make. So just uh, working on my catch and shoot threes probably uh, to be the next big thing for me, my next big step. Was is playing playing for USA basketball? Is that has that been a goal for you? Is that is that something that you you dreamt of? Um, it's definitely been a goal. You know, everybody's first goal, you know, is make it to the NBA, things like that. So that was definitely one of my first goals. But this is also. You know, one of my secondary goals, you know, play for USA, things like that, try and get a gold medal. So it, it was one of my goals. Do you think you can use this platform to kind of take the next step and, and enter in some more recognition on the national level next season? Definitely. This, this would be a big step, I think, um, to make this team and then do well in the games over there to make it to the next step. What have they told you guys about this under-19 yeah, USA competition, how come, you know, we've struggled a little bit. I've only won it twice in the last 26 years. What, what have they told you guys about what to expect? Um, they just told us it was going to be tough, you know, uh, it was because Donovan was saying how shocked he was that we, this was the only group that didn't dominate, you know, uh, in those type of games. So it's a tough, def, uh, competition is going to be real tough. So I'm just going out there, you know, not taking nobody like anything like that, just keeping my defense up, things like that, help us win. What do you know about international basketball? How much have you seen of it? Um, just what I've seen on the Olympics uh, when they came on TV and 
trip I took to China recently to go play over there. So that's about as, as much as I know. There's another um, tall point guard from Louisiana Lafayette who was drafted a couple years back, or Orion Green. Um, have you met him? Have you, has anybody made any comparisons between you two? No, nah, I haven't heard any comparisons to him. Um, I don't think I've met him before, but I think uh, we've actually played pickup once. Um, not in Lafayette, though, in uh, New Orleans once. I'm not sure, though. I'm not really sure. But I've never met him. You know, I shook his hand, nothing like that. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thanks.